With a new project created, it's time to load LivePD into our Android Studio project. To load external modules into Android Studio, I'll head to File, New, Import Module. Within the New Module window, I'll browse for the location of the module that I want to load. The first module that I'll load is PD Core. There isn't a specific module file to load. Instead, I'll navigate to my project folder, then to PD for Android within that, and finally PD Core. Once within that folder, I'll press Choose. Before continuing, notice that the name of the module appears in the Module Name field. Now, I'll choose Finish. After I've imported the PD Core module, Android Studio brings up a message about the Gradle build system failing to refresh. I'll handle that in just a moment. Now it's time to load the Android MIDI module. Once again, I'll head to File, New, Import Module. Then I'll browse my project folder on the desktop and then the MIDI folder within the PD for Android folder. And I'll open the Android MIDI folder within it. Now I'll select Choose, and within the module name field, I see Android MIDI. I'll choose Finish. Yet again, I'm getting another Gradle error. Here, I'm being asked to install the Android build tools for API 12. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to update the build.gradle files for my app, PD Core, and Android MIDI so that the Gradle build system can successfully sync and build my app and the LivePD modules associated with it. Within the project panel, I'll expand the Gradle scripts option. This shows the files associated with the Gradle build system. You can find these files represented within the Gradle projects panel at the right of the Android Studio workspace. Our goal is to get the build.gradle files for PD Core and Android MIDI modules to appear in both of these locations. I'll start by changing the project panel view from Android to project. When I do this, it changes the view to show the actual layout of files as they're stored on the hard drive. Within this view, I'll open the build.gradle file under the hello PD directory. Then I'll open the build.gradle file under the app directory, followed by the build.gradle file under the PD core directory, and finally the build.gradle file under the Android MIDI directory. Let's start off by heading to the build.gradle file in the hello pd directory. Here, I'll copy the class path declaration at line 8. Then, I'll head to the build.gradle files for PD Core and Android MIDI, and I'll replace the corresponding class path declarations. With that, I've finished the build.gradle file for hello pd, so I'll go ahead and close it. Now, I'll head to the build.gradle file for the app directory. Within this file, I'll copy the Compile SDK version and Build Tools version lines. Then I'll replace the corresponding lines within PD Core and Android MIDI. Once again, I'll repeat this process with the Min SDK version and Target SDK version lines. I'll copy the lines from Build.Gradle file in App and replace the corresponding lines in PD Core and Android MIDI. Within the build.gradle file for app, I need to set PD Core as a dependency. Within dependencies, I'll type compile, project, open parentheses, and as the argument, I'll open a string and type colon PD Core. I'm finished with this particular build.gradle file, so I'll save the changes and then close it. Now I need to make a few changes to the build.gradle file for PD Core. First, I need to add an entry that points to the Gradle build system for LivePD. To do this, I'll add an entry that will tell the Gradle build system to look at the source and live folders within PD Core. Then, I need to make the Android MIDI module a dependency of PD Core. I'll head up to Dependencies and type Compile Project with Android MIDI as the argument. That's the last change needed to be made to PD Core and no other changes need to be made to Android MIDI. So I'll go ahead and save and close both files. Within the Gradle Projects pane, I'll now press the Refresh button. This will cause the Gradle file system to look at all of the build.gradle files and reflect those that are part of the app. I now see PD Core and Android MIDI appear. Additionally, I've been given a message about an unregistered VCS, or Version Control System Directory, that hasn't been detected. I'll handle that in a moment. I'll head back to the Android view in the project pane. Notice that the new PD Core and Android MIDI build.gradle files 
are reflected under Gradle scripts. Good. We're on our way to building our app with LibPD. I disregarded the message about unregistered VCS earlier. I'll formally ignore it by heading to the event log and then choosing the ignore link. That particular message has to do with Android Studio, knowing that PD Core and Android MIDI are both modules that I've cloned via Git. I could set up GitHub as a version control system, but it isn't really critical, so I'll just choose to ignore it for now. To make sure I'm okay to continue development, I'll choose to build and run the project. I've already got my virtual device running in the background. Once I see that the build is completed, I'll tab over to the device, and I see that the app is open and running. The next thing we'll do is we'll use Android Studio to create a simple interface for our application.